What's up YouTube, The Rock Studio here. Today I'm gonna to do a quick unboxing and setup of the MXR Isobrick guitar pedal power supply. I'm gonna see if I can make my pedals be really noisy and then plug in the Isobrick and see if it helps things. Thanks for watching. All right, let's crack it open, take a look. I can't find a knife. Some paperwork. Here's the Isobrick itself. DC cables, 18 volt adapter. Eighteen volt adapter comes with several snap in plugs. We've got UK, we have Europe, that one I don't know, and the United States. There we go, the United States set up. Inputs 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, it draws a maximum of 2 amps, and the output is 18 volt at 2 amps. 18 volt DC at 2 amps. And uh, we've got two LEDs on here, and this one has 10 outputs. We've got two adjustable 6 to 15 volt outputs, we've got two 18 volt outputs, six 9 volt outputs. Be careful you don't accidentally plug that into a 9 volt pedal. It's 18 volts at 2 amps. It's sleeve positive. It comes with four rubber feet, an MXR sticker. Let's open up the DC cables. So it says that it comes with 10 pieces, barrel to barrel. They're your standard 2.1 by five and a half millimeter plugs and it's straight on one side right angle on the other there's ten of them alright here's what we're working with Alexander pedals golden summer plugged into my Mesa mark IV got a guitar plugged in let's turn it on I'll crank up the amp I've got a microphone in front of it and it's out in the tracking room I'm gonna turn up the monitor so you can hear the static coming out of the speaker So it's pretty noisy. It's kind of like a general static. I've got the lead channel on my amplifier, got the pedal turned on, and my guitar the volume is down. I'm using a godlike power all for the pedal right now. I found it in a drawer here at the studio. I don't know whose it is or where it came from. Let's plug in the isobrick now and see if it makes a difference. Got the isobrick with a very bright white LED coming out of a 9 volt output into the golden summer. Still sounds kind of noisy. Let's hit record and see what happens. Okay, well take a look at this. It actually is a little bit quieter than the godlike power all. If you look at just the noise by itself, the noise hasn't symmetrically decreased. It's decreased more on the upswing of the waveform, not so much on the downswing. But you can see if you zoom out, It actually has decreased a little bit with the ISO brick. This was the godlike power all, and this is the MXR ISO brick. Okay, now I'm doing a third recording, and this is with all my equipment, my amplifier, and the ISO brick plugged into a power conditioner. The third part of my test, I hooked up my equipment to this Panamax. M5300-EX. This is a power conditioner for a home theater. I found it at a thrift store for 30 bucks and it uh, it helps clean up the sound quite a bit from your amps and pedals. So if you've got a noisy situation check something like this out. Here's the three waveforms side by side. This is the Godlike Power All. This is the MXR Isobrick and this is the Isobrick and my amp plugged into a power conditioner. Thanks everybody for watching my quick unboxing and demonstration video of the MXR Isobrick. It decreased the noise of my guitar pedals a little bit. Uh, I was able to further reduce the noise with the addition of the power conditioner. If you've got a studio and you're always having noise problems with your pedals and stuff, um, try something like this. Try something like a power conditioner. Another way to get rid of noise from a guitar, uh, especially with single coil pickups, is if you have uh, those slidey or rotary lighting dimmers in your studio, either turn them all the way up or 
turn them off and plug in a lamp or something. If you're sitting there with your guitar, you got single coils on, and especially with the distortion channel, if you go to that light dimmer and you rotate it down, and the buzz will get louder. So uh, big studios, uh, and like my studio, I use a basically a variac for the lights to dim them. Uh, just a big variable transformer which dims the lights without creating any of that RFI. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. The Rock Studio signing off. Till next time, see everybody on the other side.